Hello and welcome guys, my name is Thomas and today it's yet another Cubase tutorial and I'm very sorry for my audio quality but I couldn't do any better in the short time I've had. Uh, it was This one was requested on Facebook and it is about workspaces. Now what are workspaces exactly? Well, workspaces are different safe states for your window configuration. So imagine this. In Cubase, you have a couple of windows like the channel settings or the mixer, etc., etc. And you want to configure them in a particular way so that you can use them, uh, you know, again and again without, you know, like, let's say, let's make one together. Um, Let's say I wanted to have the overview line if I'm composing and I didn't need uh, the inspector, but I wanted the media bay, the new one with the racks. Um, what I could do is I could just go to workspaces. can also choose not to work with a workspace, which I'm doing right now. Then I can say add a workspace. And now I can give that workspace a name. And that workspace should be called composing or whatever. And now we can choose if that should be a global workspace or a project workspace. A global workspace will be available in every Cubase project you open, even if it's not from you or whatever. And the project workspace, that is in the very exact project that you're in. So if you're working for a client and you worked in another studio and you had a very specific monitor configuration there and in your home it's a little different, you could do workspaces for both your workplaces in that same project file. You don't need that in every project, let's say, but you need that in that customer specific project. So you could do that like that. So we just click on OK. And as you can see, we switch now into workspace mode because in brackets we got G8 right there. And G8 means we got uh, on workspace 8, which is composing. But let's now go to another workspace that I've created already, which is called project. And this is my standard project configuration with the inspector open, the media bay closed, and the mixer looking like this normally with the racks open. Doesn't seem to have taken that, but yeah, that's how I roll basically. Okay, so uh, I've created another one for project and mix with both uh, the mixer and the uh, arranger open. And the way you do this is uh, let's start from my project one or from the composing one to give you a new impression. Um, and now let's open up the mixer and in my case, normally it's maximized and it looks something like this, or maybe something like that, et cetera, et cetera. But what I want for this, I don't want the racks, just want my faders. I just size that down and I just size that up so that I have a little more breathing room for my project. And there we go. We don't want to see all that stuff. There we go. Now I can just flick around, use my mouse wheel to control faders, et cetera, et cetera. It's really cool. You can use that. You can, you know, just compose here, do, do quick edits here. And what we can do now, we can say we either want to update the current workspace, which is uh, Option U, by the way, on the Mac, or Alt U on the PC. Or we want to add a new one, which would be composing plus mixer or whatever. Now we can flick around between those two. Bam, there we are. And um, what we can do too is we can say we want to organize our workspaces. In that little window, you see both your project workspaces and your global workspaces. And you can rename them, you can reorder them, because if you exceed nine workspaces, uh, let's do that real quick, just by, you know, adding this other workspace, naming it whatever, and you can see, oh, it's not in there, and I have to click more, and we're in this panel. So what you can do from this panel, you can just click a workspace and it'll switch to it. Or on the right side, you'll see a key command 
to switch to that exact workspace. Isn't that great? So in this case, you can see it's option plus a number on your numpad. The numpad is um, the couple of rows and columns with just numbers on it on the right side of your keyboard. Um, I'm just explaining you this because there might be some notebook users who don't know what a numpad is. Um, and well, yeah, so so I could go around between composing and the mixer one between, with option and eight and nine. So I do option eight, option nine, option eight, option nine, easy as that. And we could have totally crazy weird setups like that, like uh, having channel settings open, having the real media bay, you know, the F5 media bay open and stuff like that, uh, having an analyzer open like I have always, like this one. Um, and, and all that sort of thing we can do with the workspaces. And that means that we're project independent with our window layout. And this is really cool. What we can also do is we can, of course, if we don't need them anymore, we can just remove them. And there we go. So I hope this was a helpful tutorial. And shout out to you on Facebook. Um, see you soon. Goodbye.